Every so often, the sports hangover touches on mature topics. Discretion is advised. Welcome to the sports hangover. I'm Michael Benatar, and that is Jeremy Garrison. Today, we're doing a little scandal city. Lots of things have been happening. EA Sports just announced that they might not be renewing the NCAA uh, football game for next year because they cannot get all uh, of the right paperwork and everything together for all the uh, divisions of the NCAA. Because right now, I think the NCAA signed it all over to them, saying, you have all the rights up until this year. They come back, and now all like SEC doesn't want to sign it, and different divisions want it. Want to do it? And the SEC don't. doesn't want their logos anywhere no. on the game. That's going to ruin it because SEC is the biggest country or the biggest conference yes. in the country. And also, EA Sports is getting sued right now by a ton of former NCAA athletes. Mike, right? For what? I didn't. I don't get, even know about this. You didn't hear about this? No. They're getting sued for their likenesses being used. These guys uh, who played college football years ago that went on to maybe play in the NFL, maybe not. They're now suing because. There was a number 12 big white quarterback, and I was number 12 big white quarterback at the same time. That's what the NCAA has been doing for years. Yeah. They, they make the guys look like the guy without putting their name on the jersey. But that's the thing. I mean, if you're a college football player, you have to know that you basically have signed away your life, that you will not make money in this three to four years or whatever, two years that you're in college playing a, a professional-like sport. And that's what the whole thing is with uh, Menzel. I mean – he wants he wants to get paid. I don't know if he is getting paid, but it seems like <laughs> he's never going to play college football again. That's yeah. That's yeah. Well, we we've we've already talked about that. Yeah, but, <laughs> but I I think this is an issue for a lot of the players that they go here, they risk their their well being and financial security to play this game and maybe have a what seven percent chance of making it to the NFL and actually being a player in the NFL. Probably less than that, I'd say. So this is this is a big deal, and I don't know what EA Sports is going to do, but this could be the last time you see NCAA football. So I wouldn't be surprised because I, I disagree with you. I don't think college athletes do anything for EA Sports. I don't think they sign anything. I think they sign it for their college and for NCAA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think they ever agreed for their likenesses to be featured well, in once, the video. Once you play football, NCAA signs your rights away. It's like we can put Johnny Manziel on a poster because – that we own him. We own the rights to him and right. all of the players in the league. And I think so they can do whatever they want. I think the class action lawsuit is gaining traction. It'll be interesting to see a final verdict on that. And I think you're right. I think this is the last year we'll see NCAA. Without the SEC, they're not going to make a game right off the bat. And then with all the negative press, why why continue to do it? Why? Yeah. Um, another story that came out today. ESPN fired Hugh Douglas. This is bigger for you, Jeremy, because we're we've been talking a lot of a lot of TV lately. Uh, Fox Sports One is coming up. But today, ESPN, or yesterday, I don't I think it might have been today, fired Hugh Douglas for getting an altercation with uh, Numbers Never Lie co-host Michael Smith. Now, I didn't see this. I read about it. Uh, I feel like that's the whole point of TV. Sometimes, <laughs> like, Skip Bayless, all he does is argue. So why would you Well, this fire- was a little more intense. So this was Tell me. At, a, at the House of Blues right here in Orlando, right down oh, the road from where okay. I live. And it was Michael Smith, co-host of Numbers Never Lie, with... Yeah. Hugh Douglas, both of those guys host the show. Hugh Douglas, former NFL player. Michael Smith Big guy. obviously came up uh, via ESPN. You know, he's on Around the Horn. He was yeah, a writer. Yeah. Now he's on Numbers Never Lie. He's going to be an eventual uh, replacement to Michael Loban on PTI. That's a small media oh, studio. Oh, okay. You can comment down below if you disagree with that. <laughs> but Michael Smith and Hugh Douglas. So Hugh Douglas was wasted at the House of Blues, and he tried getting on stage to grab the microphone from the DJ. Clearly wasted. Uh, Michael Smith, his buddy, tried saying, hey, man, you're drunk. Relax. Hugh Douglas started yelling at him. They almost got in a fight. The big thing here is, and I just learned the ramification of, of, of this today, Michael. Tell me. Hugh Douglas called Michael Smith and Uncle Tom. What What does that mean? That's what I'm saying. What does that mean? But I found yeah. out today, my boss was explaining it to me at work. Okay. <laughs> my boss told me that an Uncle Tom, and we're not trying to be uh, mean or anything here. No. We're not, nothing no. negative meant. Of course. We're just explaining the situation. And Uncle Tom is... When a black person yeah. is acting too much like a white person. And that's something that a black person would say to another black person when you're being too white. Come back. Like, come calm back, down, wait, Uncle you know? Tom. Calm down. That's what Hugh Douglas said to Michael Smith. That irritated Michael Smith. Punches were nearly thrown. I don't think they actually were. But it was all about Hugh Douglas. So he's fired wow. off the show. But it's funny. If you go to the Numbers Never Lie Twitter page right now. Their cover photo is Hugh Douglas sitting next to Michael Smith. Wow. I mean, that's that's a Twitter feed. That has, that's well, like some intern managing. That, that that's an, to date. That's an intern managing a Twitter feed. Okay, there's no like. I don't think Michael Smith is on there. Like, oh, I got to change this picture, so it's just me now. Now I'm the host, no co-host anymore. Why? Why is the intern on top of things? Why? 
I said. Well, this be- is a high profile thing. And the reason that Hugh Douglas was fired is because not just that it happened. I don't think 10 years ago this happened, no one would know. Yeah. Because of Twitter and social media, it was picked up on the big lead and Deadspin, and it eventually got to the New, the New York Times and the LA Times. And once it gets that big, ESPN doesn't want any bad press. So and, and it's so, also, yeah. there's no sports going on right now. No one cares about baseball, and nothing else is going on. So that's all we have to cover is alternations. It's about media, right? <laughs> And it's funny, like, that's why we're talking about media so yeah, much. Yeah. What's going on? It's funny that Hugh Douglas had a job. Stop coughing. I'm, so, I'm getting sick, Jeremy. I can't stop <laughs> coughing. It, it distracts me. Hugh Douglas had a job that every ex athlete wants. Yeah. He had a full time job on every TV. day and getting paid to talk about whatever you want to talk about. Yep. And he lost that for being a belligerent drunk. And it just shows you that it happens to athletes, it happens to ex athletes after they retire. Behave yourselves, people. Jeremy, Please. talking about the ex-athletes, today the commissioner of the NFL came out uh, and said that they're going to begin testing HGH on ex-NFL players. I don't know if ex-NFL players know about this yet or I, or they've been aware of like, hey, we're going to start doing some steroids for you guys. I don't know what the test is for. I, I, don't, I think it's to see like what will happen to you if you do this, but obviously – when you reach an age, I don't know what age limit these guys are going for, but if you're like 50, 45 to 60 and taking HGH, it's going to make you younger. I mean, it gives you testosterone. It's going to build muscle. I mean, people know what it's done. That's why people use it because right. – so I don't understand what they're doing. I don't know if this is like a test to see, oh, maybe we should use our players to have this to heal better. So I don't know what it's for. But right it's now, it's possible, and a lot of people do feel like it should be allowed and should be legal. You do, right? I yeah, I 100 percent agree that it should be used, yeah, but only if the whole league wants it to be used. Now you don't have to use it. It's just okay. saying like if you want to use this to uh, you know your torn bicep, you want to heal a little faster. We'll give you an injection for a week, and uh, you'll be ready to play next week. Because that's so what the NFL, does. the NFL is supplying this to the ex athletes. Let me read. They they announced it today. I don't know what it's about. It's so interesting that they're actually supplying it. Where they're at that point, if they're supplying it, they're actually cond- they're condoning it. They want so it. So they say the tentative plan is roughly a hundred former players to participate in the study, with two thirds receiving HGH and the other third receiving a placebo. They want to see if the levels will be measured after the trial. It's I don't know what it's for, but. It's unclear whether ex players have yet to agree to participate and administrate it. So it's just a whole, they just want to see what it will do and see if it actually does affect the players. And I think it will because it's a pretty powerful drug. It definitely will. It's what got A Rod kicked out of baseball for life. And it's, I well, think you're onto something. Can we talk about that real quick? Not, he well, just real quick, right. I want to go back to what you said for a second. I think you made a great point. I want to give you credit. Okay. Is that this could be a training ground. I know it's rare. This could be a training ground yeah. for current NFL players to undergo HGH, maybe only if they're injured with some stipulations and rules where it's NFL governed. Maybe that's a way for the NFL to monitor the usage on current players. I think that's a very interesting Because I'm sure in low doses, it's not going to give you the effect of like the Hulk. It might give you an effect that if you tear a bicep, you should be okay in a week or two taking this HGH. So, something there. so maybe something like, or I was thinking, I don't know if it affects your brain or something like that. Or your, I know it affects your muscles, but maybe if they want to see if it reverses some side effects. It of people, shrinks your brain and enlarges your muscles. Yeah, your testis, you know, your balls get smaller. A lot of stuff happens. The balls aren't up here. No, no, I was, I was going down here. The balls. I was grabbing your balls virtually. <laughs> Not mine. What were you going to say about A-Rod? Uh, A-Rod? I don't know. He came out today and said he was going to sue uh, the, the MLB for the 211 game suspension, which he can go for it, but he's probably done. We have a show on our website here. We're almost done with the show, so yeah. we're almost done with this. But we have a show on our YouTube Keep page, listening. just a few below, with Alex Rodriguez. It's titled Alex Rodriguez Banned for Life, which didn't happen. We jumped the gun on that. It has almost 5,000 views on it, so maybe yeah. we should lie in our subjects more often, yeah. and then we'll get more views. Is that allowed? Do people? Um, I mean, we didn't lie. We thought this was going to be a fact. We heard it was the... a report at yeah. the time. We heard the report. We're like, this is what we're going with. We, you don't have to hold us. We're not the news. We're just we're we didn't an... report it. No. We reported it from others. Yeah, we're in our, we're entertainers, Jeremy. That's what we do here. And a little news, a little dab in there. If you want to subscribe to our show, go to youtube.com backslash sports hangover or click around. There should be little buttons flying around the screen. Uh, Jeremy all the time tweeting at TSH podcast. Breaking news constantly throughout the week. Um, if we don't get molested, rest of you. We'll be back next time.